Hello everyone. In this video I'd like to show you how to make this two loop bracelet. So these ones are a variation of this bracelet. So this is the first one that I made. This is the one that started it all. You can use different sizes of beads and in this one that we're going to make today it's only one color or one size bead and these ones I've used five different types of bead mixing the round beads and bicones and that one is just round bead three different types of beads this one has got two different sizes what I'm going to show you today basically we're making the red one and so that's the small one and this is a large bead but all of this using a thick gauge wire which is 16 gauge but you could also use 18 gauge but the thicker the wire the better it will be because it'll be more stable compared to if you're using a thin wire to start off with so what we need is I'm using a 10 millimeter size bead or this is actually glass beads so the amount we need will depend on the size of your wrist so I've got about 46 pieces with this lot right now and I'm using a copper wire and this is 16 gauge you can use any type of wire provided it's 16 gauge or between 16 and 18 gauge would be good as well and I'm just gonna leave this on a spool like this but what I'll do first on the end I am just going to form a loop just so as to stop the beads from popping out and so now we're gonna feed all these beads through so I've now threaded my bead through so roughly I've got about 22 beads in it allow a tail of say two inches and that's where we're gonna start just to avoid confusion I'm gonna make a little loop which we can straighten out later on anyway so the tail this way and then that one is gonna go over this way so I'm just making a loop a figure eight loop is what uh, we're making so you go that way so it has to go the opposite way so now I'm gonna put my pliers there and go the opposite way basically what we're making is a figure eight loop like that we're gonna put now our bead and we're using that as a guide so which means so I'm going to take the wire now going around the bead and push bend first up and go around so you can go on the top or the bottom it doesn't make any difference but for now I'm gonna go on the top so you can see okay so now I'm gonna reverse that and put another bead on the opposite side here so we're making a figure eight and just maintaining that so I'll just put it on the side there and again bend it and I'm gonna go around and this time I'm gonna put the wire underneath so I'm just gonna go around the bead but making sure that that goes underneath like so so on the top all you see is the bead and underneath is where the figure eight is so, okay so now that's your guide so that's basically what we've done so now as my wire comes out in the center I'm gonna put it in the center I'm going to put another bead and again I'll put that there put my finger there and bend it again and I'm gonna go around again trying to catch on in the bottom so going around and I'll put another bead again and go around again crossing it and another one turn it the other way as well if it works better for you so again so opposite on the other side again and so now I'm just going to continue doing this and it is quite quick if you haven't got the camera on or talking so I normally do this when I'm watching TV or even in the car so if you're sitting in the car and driving somewhere 
you're just a passenger of course you're not driving then this is one activity you can do to occupy one's hands and again we go around opposite way again and it is quite quick but of course if you're going to use a smaller bead it's going to take longer the bigger the bead the quicker like about this design is that you have the option later on to hook up something on the edges here and put some little dangles okay so we're gonna go measure this so that is so far we've got three and a half inches okay so which means if I put this one through three and a half I'll probably seven eight inches I'm gonna end up with eight inches so that's seven and a half inches the shorter one is about six and a half so you've got plenty to work with so now I'm going to continue feeding through so now I can't put my bead through because this is all looped up in the end so what we're going to do is straighten this out and flatten that and feed it through so now I've finished putting all my beads through again so I'm going to do a bend again so they don't pop out and we continue so I've come to the end of my wire and I still have seven eight beads left so that means we've used up 38 beads and I'll just do a measurement to see that is about 7 inches and I want to make this about 7.5 inches so what I'm going to do now is release some of the beads okay dogs so now we're going to do some adjustments so now with that one now I'm going to straighten this up up I'll just twist that of course just so it sits nicely I'm gonna take flat nose pliers and on this side here make sure I tilt them up so see how it's on the side so all the loops on both sides they're angled on the corner or on the side so I'm gonna do is straighten them out like that so and holding the beads or my bracelet we're just straightening it out and I got one bead left I'll leave that there and then I'll twist it on the other side or turn it over in the other side and I'll do the same So okay, so on the back, that's what you'll see. So now we'll measure it again. And I've got seven inches, which is perfect for what I want. And I just have enough tail on the end. And so now I'm gonna straighten out one side. That's straight enough. And so now we're gonna do a loop. So I'll just straighten it out first up. And then I'll put the pen on the side. And I'll make a little loop now go around I'm gonna release the pen take that to the back and wrap it up and do a little loop so it doesn't matter where you put it as long as you secure it so we're just securing so I'll put one loop and so now you've got a nice little loop and this one since it went on the side we just straightened it out there you go and this one the tail at the back you can wrap it up more if you want but I'll just uh, loop it on the side here just to make it secure a little bit better okay and now I'm gonna cut that trim that off and we just tuck that in and to tuck it in I'm using a nail punch so it doesn't catch on if you want you can still tuck it in a bit more 
there you go she's nicely tucked in at the back and we just adjust a little loop so now I'm just gonna see how it fits on me so I've got another bead there so that's fairly tight and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this other bead so I'll probably put another two so again I'm gonna loop this up so now I've got 40 pieces of beads here and then again we just straighten that out straighten that out and our little tail since it's coming all from this side here so what we need is about an inch so half an inch or halfway that's roughly half an inch there so what we're gonna do is bend this to the opposite way same drill I'm just gonna hook it up to the back here so I'm just gonna push that there going to the front and then tucking it in so I'll just tuck it in anywhere so if I put that there it doesn't make any difference it'll still look pretty and that just secures it and I'm gonna take my nail punch again this is a red one doesn't matter what color push that in so it's nicely tucked in, in there push it a bit more because we don't want it catching on yep and so now with our little hook which is a little bit short I think but it doesn't make any difference because and squash it so I'm gonna squash it okay it'd be better if it's a little bit longer but doesn't make any difference as long as that will hook that's good enough so now the beauty of that is actually see you hardly see it and it still hooks up now just a little bit of adjustment here and there and so now my bracelet is done so isn't that gorgeous that's beautiful so and so now I'm gonna take that off so that's it there's nothing to it so that's it so gorgeous beautiful present they will make and they're so easy and quick to make so probably with this size I can make one in all up without the camera should be 15 minutes per bracelet and so now I'm just gonna have to make a few more to give to my friends 